All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Now, I know a lot of you guys are starting your rotations, and it's probably getting to be a little overwhelming with all the stuff you have to keep up with. So I'm going to give you help today on one important thing, which is how to have a structured way on approaching every single day and how to write your notes in the morning when you do your progress notes. I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step way in my computer, but let's get to the intro first. All right, guys, so we are in my computer and I'm going to break down kind of how I take notes kind of when I go into the hospital for a rotation, for example, your internal medicine rotation. You need to see patients, you're about to pre-round on them, uh, and you want to get your notes done before like lunchtime for sure, before ideally before you even um, finish your rounds. So this is my structure and hopefully you guys can make some adapt adaptations to it. Um, but I'll give you some examples and I'll break down kind of step by step what I do when I go into the hospital, what type of things I look for, um, how I start to pre-write my notes and then see my patient. Um, so without like, you know, talking too much, let's get into it. So the first thing is you need to have some kind of flow on how you look at the information um, from the night before. So the first thing I do is I always look at the overnight notes. Um, usually the nursing notes will indicate if there's something big that happened um, with the patient, you know, I had a patient where um, they were dizzy and they were found sitting on the floor because they couldn't make it to the restroom. That's obviously important. So read the overnight notes. You may find notes from consults. You may find it from the overnight residents. Figure out what happened, if anything. And um, as soon as I start reading these notes, I have my actual note. I mean, obviously, I can't pull up the EMR. Uh, but I have the actual uh, note that I'm about to type right next to it. So Mr. Johnson is the patient that I always use in my examples, right? But this first line right here is going to always be in my notes. So you can just copy and forward it from your previous notes. It's just like a one-liner of why they were there. But then let's say our patient had some difficulty breathing and he needed some uh, nasal cannula um, oxygen. So if I read that in the overnight notes, then I would just write that as my first sentence and uh, move on. Then my next thing is usually I would look at the vitals. You know, you want to see how is their temperature, um, the respiration rate, all that stuff. Um, you would write that down on your piece of paper. I'll link down below to another video that I have, which breaks down how I keep all the information organized for a patient for the whole duration of their admission. Um, and I think a lot of people really enjoyed it. So I'll link it down below as well. But look at their vitals, look at their labs that, they, that came in as well as their eyes and nose, but have some type of structure on what information you look at in what order that way you don't ever miss anything. And then I start writing um, my note as if I saw the patient, right? So overnight, you know, I can write this because the nurse told me on their note what happened. But in addition, I'm already starting to write the note as if I saw the patient and I asked them important questions, right? So if the patient was having issues shortness of breath, I'm starting to think like, why would they have issues? Um, in my examples of given this is a heart failure patient, so I'm going to say, you know, whether what whether or not he had uh, shortness of breath for specific reasons such as a pneumonia, uh, whether he had some chest pain, you know, fevers, things, questions that I'm going to want to ask him, like, is this is a pneumonia? Is this a, a PE? Is this just your heart failure? Are you having anxiety? Um, do you have any trauma? So I start writing these questions down in my note. Patient says that he does or does not complain of chest pain, cough, fever, anxiety, or calf pain. And then I write these down in my piece of paper that I take into the room. Cause then all I have to do, let's say the patient says yes to chest pain and cough, but no to the final three. I can just make one, one sentence, and then I can quickly type in patient does not complain, you know, um, of the latter three, right? So this also tells you attending that you were thinking and you asked some important questions before you even went into um, the room and your notes already starting to uh, get completed. Um, here, like I leave this space um, to obviously indicate what the patient stated happened to him. Um, so I put dot, dot, dot throughout my note where it reminds me like you need to make sure you ask about this. Um, and so I, on my sheet of paper that I take into the room, uh, I have all these things. So in addition to the subjective, I also do the same for the physical, right? So 
what physical exam would I do for somebody that's having shortness of breath and is a heart failure patient. So I'm going to reevaluate their JVP. I'm going to look to see what their lower extremity edema is. I'm going to see what their lungs sound like. I'm going to see what their oxygen saturation was. Are they breathing okay? Are there, you know, is their systems doing okay? Um, and so I wrote, I write this in my physical section before I even see the patient, because again, it helps me remember like you need to do this on the exam. And then finally, I start creating a plan again before I even see the patient. Is this going to be a patient I'm going to start getting a chest x-ray for? Do I need a, a you know a swab? Do I need to check a D-dimer if I'm concerned for a PE? Um, do I need to check for an echo? These are all questions I'm asking in my head all before I see the patient. Because then, after I see the patient, using these pieces of information on my my thought process, I can quickly take things off. Like I was like, okay, this guy definitely does not need a D-dimer. I'm not concerned for a PE. Right. So that's how I write my notes really quick, guys. I think it takes me um, to do the information gathering probably like five to ten minutes. Um, and then I'm doing that, you know, I'm writing the note as I'm gathering the pieces of information. So it takes me maybe five to ten minutes uh, per patient. Um, so that's anywhere from like tw 20 to 30 minutes uh, to quickly scan over all your patients and have your notes like halfway done. Um, ideally, you know, this is a patient that you've saw, seen already, so you have some form of plan already created. So this is just stuff that you're starting to plug in into addition. If this is the first day you're seeing the patient, obviously it's going to be longer. Um, but these are the points that I wanted to bring out, which is start writing the note before you see the patient, you know, form the questions um, that you have for them, write them down in a piece of uh, paper, then go examine the patient and then finally fill in the details and spend a majority of your time right here, which is the you know the assessment of plan, because by the time your residents and your attendings want to know about the patient, you spent a majority of your time on this portion. That's really where you earn your grades um, for honors and whatnot. So, and then update, come back to your note and update uh, any piece of information. You know, if you put chest X-ray and your attending decides that they don't really need one, then take it out. Um, but. I've always been able to more often than not finish my notes before lunchtime, uh, before often before rounds, and this is the way I do it. I basically write half of it. Uh, it's incomplete, yes, but I write half of it before rounds ever started, and then all I do is just fill in the information that I get um, from my examination and the final rounds with the team. Um, so this is just another repeat of it. But hopefully this guy was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any other questions about writing notes and being more efficient uh, on your rotations, let me know. Um, but I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, and as always, um, bringing more videos to you, to you guys on a daily or weekly basis, depending on when you guys are watching this. Um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends.